In this video, we're gonna talk about how to sell high ticket coaching. That's right guys, this is part four of a five part video series on how to sell more high ticket coaching. In this video specifically, we're gonna show you how to handle objections. Let's jump into Let's it. Let's go. All right, you guys, welcome back to our How to Launch Your Online Coaching Business in 30 Days series. If we have not met yet, we are Jeff and Jess. We're a couple of online business coaches and we've built two six-figure online coaching businesses, both within 90 days, completely organically. And now we're sharing with you the lessons we learned along the way to shortcut your success. That's right, guys. In this video, like we said, we're talking about how to sell more high-ticket coaching. In this video specifically, we're gonna talk about objection handling 101. One. Yeah, in this baby. video, we're gonna go over the top objections that you're gonna hear, and more importantly, we're gonna give you solutions on how to overcome them. So buckle up, let's freaking Gotta do this. Gotta be banging. Now, let's talk about the four most common objections and how to overcome them. Basically, what we wanna do is overcome as many objections as possible while we have our prospect on Zoom. We don't wanna get off that call without all of their questions being answered. So that's, that's the hottest they're ever gonna be. Exactly, as soon as you hang up that phone, they start to cool off a little bit. So let's see how to handle the four most common objections. So objection one, I don't have the money. Your solution to this is to first offer a payment plan. If there's still a him and a hon on that, then ask them, do you have access to the money? And then if they're still, oh, not really, then you can offer a deposit. So let's role play this one for them so they can see it live. I love a good role play. I love a good role play. So Jay, you be the salesman, I'll be the prospect. And we'll use our example from our previous video. You were the fat loss coach and your program for me was the one-to-one 90-day -one fat loss coaching program. So we'll use that as our example. Cool. So the price of this one-to-one -one fat loss coaching program is just 3K. So that's the whole pitch. You got any questions or should we just get started right now? I. Uh, was not expecting to spend 3k. Uh, that's I I don't I don't know if I could make that purchase right now. I hear it. That's a lot of money for me right now. Yeah, I don't I want to get started, but I'm just I might have to hold it off a little bit. Really? Okay, so is it fair to say that price the only issue right here, or is there something else? No, no, no. I really want this, just so you know, and I appreciate your time. Thank you, but it. Right now, that is just a real too big of an investment for me at this moment. Got it. So the 3K full pay is just too much of an investment for you at this time, but money's just the only issue. If we could solve the money issue, then you'd be in, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I would sign, sealed, delivered. Let's go. All right, cool. Let's work. Let's work. Let's see what we can do. Okay, how about a payment plan? Would that sound a little bit better to you? What if we did instead of paying 3K all up front, what if we spread it out? and did a 1.2K times three pay. That way you can get started just today for just 1.2K, mm -hmm. which is a third basically of that 3K. Yeah, you end up paying a little bit more interest, but you get started for just 1.2K. How's that sound? You know, it's just a little bit more than I want to pay at this moment. And I just don't feel comfortable making that you know commitment right now. Got it. But you do have you have the money or would you have to get access? Oh, good access. Yeah, have you thought about that route? You could look for access to it. Like we ask all of our clients this, it's um, do you have anyone that owes you money? I know it sounds <laughs> funny, but I mean, yeah. I've always got someone who I could go shake that tree and be like, hey, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. It, I, I've just, I borrowed some money already from some friends and some family and I I don't know if I can go shake that tree as you would say yeah, yeah I don't what I don't about think so. yeah I don't want it seems like you're hitting a block a little bit right here so let me help with that what about do you have a rich uncle I know like <laughs> that it's it's really funny but some people actually do have a rich uncle so I just got to bring that up but Uncle Bob is you're right I do I've asked him for money before and I just don't know if I can ask him again right maybe we don't shake that tree again <sighs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any anyone else that you think might owe you money? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm racking my brain right now. I want someone to have to owe me money. So I really want this program, but I just 
I mean, I could go to Uncle Bob, but I've already shook that tree so many times. Right, and maybe that's not off the table. Okay. Okay, so here's where we're at right now is the full pay, not a no, it's a no-go for you right now. Yeah, right now. Payment yes. plan, potentially if Uncle Bob were down, but we won't know that for maybe a couple of days or how long, when could you talk to Uncle Bob, do you think? Well, he's traveling right now and you know, he's out of range. So I'm right. not gonna be able to talk to him for, a, you're right, a couple of days. And you wanna get started like now, if not like yesterday, yesterday. right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you read my mind. <laughs> okay, so here's what we can do. What we can do is we can get you started today with just a deposit. So when you're coming onto this call, what were you thinking about investing? Honestly, and uh, the, nothing, I think you're totally worth every penny and I believe in your program and all of that, but I was honestly expecting $500. Like that's what I was expecting to pay. Got it, okay. Well, so here's what we can do, because I like you, <laughs> is we can like start, you too. we can put that $500 down that you are already planning on paying we can put that down as your deposit and okay. then we could square up the rest of it later because what we could do is we could either spread it out throughout the rest of the couple months that we're working together mm -hmm. or who knows, you talk to Uncle Bob later on this week and he just pays the rest of that. But how's that sound, starting with that $500 deposit? You know, I think I, that I can put 500 now and then I would just have to square up at least by the end of our time together. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, cause I really need to make a change in my life. So I'm going to pay $500 and we'll, we'll get that happen. And then I'm gonna go shake uncle Bob down. Beautiful. Let's do this. Okay. Be sure to Amex. <laughs> Amex baby. <laughs> All right guys. So I hope you guys saw just how that could happen. And she was a tough, she was a tough sell. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Usually payment plan, well, we'll get them right there. So objection two, I don't know if I have time to do it now. So your solution can look something like, what we can do is lock in the price now and then push your start date till later. So this is so key because so many people, you know, they book the call, but they're not ready to get started right away. They just kind of want to see their options. But on that sales call, because you're such great salespeople now, they're ready to go and they're amped but the timing just isn't right. And so- Yeah, maybe they're going on a trip next week. Maybe someone in their family is getting married or something. Like, yeah. hey, I love this offer, but I don't wanna be wasting any of my time with you. Cause if they're investing in a 90 day program, they're like, oh, you know, I really wanna maximize this. Is there, and so what you offer up to them is like, okay, what we could do is we could just push your start date. We can lock in this price now and push your start date to when you get back from skiing the Rockies, skiing the Alps, or from that wedding. And then we'll get started with the bang, let's How's go. That sound? Yeah, we've once pushed a client, what's the most we've ever pushed a client start date? Was it like, four months? I was at three or, three or four months. Three or four months? Yeah. So guys, don't, now you have that in your, your tool belt. Yeah, don't sleep on that one. <laughs> so we just covered the money objection, we just covered the timing objection. Let's now, jump into the next. So objection three, I need to think it over. So your solution would look like, I hear you, what is it that you need to think over? And then you would handle the objection right there. This is so key because we don't want the prospect to get off the call with any loose ends, any unanswered questions. And so just by asking them, hey, what do you need to think over? You got me on the call, like let's talk about it. Then you can make sure that every objection is handled. Yeah, what's your main concern? Make sure, like Jess said, don't let them off the call. I love that you're giving me a little love down on camera. Wow. Well, your sweater's so soft. It's cashmere, baby. <laughs> well, you're really throwing me off, but I'm down. So let's see, where are we at? I need to think it over. What is it that specifically that you, you need to think over? I mean, you got me for the next five, 10 minutes. Like, let's just throw it out, out on the table. Yeah. Like. You see how chill that is? And then just answer their main concerns. You said it. I'm still kind of laughing because I was rubbing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty self-explanatory. Just keep on asking them any other concerns, like anything else, or do we isolate it? Cool. And then that's how you do it. So objection four, I need to talk it over with my partner. So your solution would look like, I hear you. What is it that you think they'd say and then handle the objection or give them the ammo they need to close the partner themsel themselves? 
So this one is pretty self-explanatory and this one is great. However, there's a little caveat here. If you're talking to somebody and you have an offer where, you know, you can assume that maybe a partner needs to be involved, you can offer to offer for them to bring their partner onto the call with them. That way you don't even have to deal with this objection. Beautifully said. So guys, those are the four most common objections you're gonna hear in our solutions on how to solve them. So mm -hmm. I hope you dug this video. Yeah, banging baby. So that's why the best way to make six figures doing what you love is by starting an online coaching business. You can get started for free and start charging 3K to 10K on day one. And you can close all those sales by handling all the objections just by using this process here. So that's all we got for this video. If you got any questions, post them down below. And you know, you want our personal help, go ahead and book a call down below. We'd love to chat with you. Other than that, we'll see you in the next video.